Hey, it's Rick Barker, and here we are, episode number four of Live on the Drive. I hope one day to have done so many of these that I, I can't keep count anymore. So welcome, and happy Friday to you. Uh, just left seeing the guy who cuts my hair, Ash. I'm actually driving from the area of where I live back down to Nashville. Uh, those of you who watched yesterday's episode are aware that we had uh, some flooding issues at the apartment complex where I keep an office, so I worked out of the home office today. But uh, today's Friday, so I'm off to the gym to see Jim. So Jim Cipriani, Next Level Fitness. I'll be there in about 25 minutes, so I wanted to take this time to uh, check in. also want to say thank you to everyone who uh, was hanging around Facebook last night. I needed some help testing out a new product. and. All I said was, are you awake? And people just started showing up, so it was it was fun, so I appreciate that. I was uh, doing a personal coaching call last night with one of my clients, and we got to talking about the, uh, the fact of, you know, he is still under the firm belief. He, he manages this amazing rock band out of Arizona. I mean, stage, show, sound, awesome. So they started working with me about six months ago to increase their online presence and increase their awareness. And, you know, uh, over the holidays, there started being, you know, starting to slack off a little bit and things like that. So what I said to him was, as he said, look, I'm still under the belief that there's somebody out there that will see this band live and want to make an investment in them. And I said, you're absolutely right. You know, but what happens is this, is if, let's say if it's an A&R person from a record company, and if someone sees you and they fall in love with you, then they have to be able to then take you to their boss or present you to the president of the label. And then the next questions that are going to be asked after that usually is, you know, what's their activity like on social media? How many shows a year are they playing? You know, are they selling hard tickets? There's a lot of other questions that go along with it. So my question to him was, is wouldn't you want to put your business in a position for when that person does get excited? And that's what I want to talk to you guys about today is it's like sometimes you don't want to get seen too soon. You don't want to get seen too quick because you're not going to be prepared to take uh, advantage of that great opportunity. And right now, because it is so crowded out there, there's no shortage of bands. There's no shortage of pretty people who can sing. Those of you that know me have heard me say that before. What there's a shortage of are bands that are running successful businesses. Uh, independent artists that are running successful businesses. So why don't you do that? Why don't you be that person? Why don't you let that be what makes you stand out? You know, they're going to fall in love with you for the music. Also let them fall in love with you for, for the work ethic. Because ultimately what you have to ask yourself, no matter whether it be a, a publishing deal, a record deal, you want a big time manager coming to work with you, at some point someone's got to make money. They really do. As much as we love the music, I can't go and pay my bills with the love of your music. It's just not going to happen. If it could, I would do it, but it doesn't. So what you should want to show the investor and the bank is that you have a plan in place that's already proven to somewhat work in order to help pay them back. And what I mean by that is you just can't sit there and say, okay, I'm great on stage and we record great music. Now help us go out and make money because the days have changed. The time frame in which investors, bankers, labels, in my opinion, the time frame on which they can afford to get paid back, that time frame has been, has been sped up. And the reason for that is because it's not just you know, we've got one of their artists is selling, you know, a couple million records a year. And this is back when there was only CDs and that was it. And they were making, you know, $15 off of a CD instead of now making, you know, a couple bucks off of a downloaded album. So the funding isn't there. So they're going to need to make that funding back quicker. So the best thing you can do as an artist is you should be able to set up your business. It's not hard to do to show that you've got momentum, to show that you are disciplined, to show that you are showing up to do work every single day. Because if I go look, when an artist comes to me and says, hey, would you take a look at my stuff? Here's what I look for. One, I wanna see if they're showing up to work every day. Because in life, if you don't show up to work when you're supposed to, you get fired. So if you're not showing up every day, doing everything you can to get your music heard by as many people as possible. To me, that's just like you didn't show up for work. So why would I want to invest in that type of employee if they're not going to show up consistently? Another thing I look for 
And unfortunately, I had to share this with one of my clients yesterday as we were preparing her for a voice audition. She asked me a question and she said, listen, do you think being overweight plays a part in labels not wanting to sign artists? I said, I personally do. Uh, I also think being a drunk can sometimes keep artists from getting signed by labels. I think being a, a, a jerk off and being a mean person can keep being from getting signed. You know, because what that shows is that shows your personality. How it was said to me one time, in, and this is coming from someone who's battled with weight all his life. Uh, this is com coming from someone who's in recovery. And what they said was, is that if we're gonna make a million dollar investment into someone, we want to know that they have discipline. We want to know that they have discipline to do the right things. We want to know that they have discipline to take care of themselves because being overweight, in their opinion, is a choice. And it's a choice of not being disciplined. And I was starting to think about that. And I'm like, holy crap. He's absolutely right. He goes, if someone, every time we come to see him, is wasted, at some point they're going to miss a show. They're going to miss an appointment at radio. They're going to miss something that's going to end up costing them and costing us the record company. And I'm like, wow. So no matter how much we love your music or no matter how much we love your sounds, you are ultimately asking someone to invest their money and resources into you. And they want to know that they have a disciplined person that's going to do everything they can every day to help them make their money back. And that's why I encourage artists to show up every day on social media, to love their fans the best way that they can, to figure out what it's going to take for them to take care of themselves because ultimately your music will get the right person to hear it and when they hear it you want to be prepared to take full advantage of that so uh, I hope that made sense a lot of times I get to babbling but uh, I do appreciate you guys uh, I will do a live on the drive over the weekend uh, Logan and I are gonna go play golf so I'll do one with him in the car he gets a big kick out of this but I haven't been able to really see who's on here I will go in and check out questions later uh, I do appreciate you guys uh, giving me your time and I hope that I've brought some value to you you can always check in if you need anything head to the website Leave me a message here on Facebook. I do check them. I'm definitely going to go in and take a look at the comments. And if you're new to me and want to know who the hell is this guy in the car talking a bunch of smack, you can go to rickbarker.com. And while you're there, grab a free copy of my book. All right. So off to the gym to see Jim. And I'll chat with you guys a little later on. Be good. Have a great weekend if I don't see you or hear you. Ciao.